What is up everyone? Welcome back to WRX Garage. We have an amazing video for you today. Very, very exciting stuff. Um, as you guys know, Kyle went through and he replaced all of his wheels and tires. Yep. Uh, he got the whole new set. It looks amazing, but there's one thing about it that he does not really like that he wants to fix. And what is that, Kyle? That's that wheel gap, man. Get that, I don't like it. Can't have it. I don't want to go super low, but I want to go this is what, three, maybe go down to two fingers? If it's down that far, I'd be happy. Okay, and what are we gonna be so, using? We, I wanted to find something different. I could've, I was gonna go with the Fortune Autos, the Gen 7s that Kevin has, but they're 1200 bucks and I was like, well, everyone knows that those coilovers are great. So for you guys, I was like, let me find something new that maybe no one's reviewed. Um, so I was on Rally Sport and I saw the Faction Fab. These are the F-Spec, they also make the FR, which is more of like your autocross racing one. You get uh, camber plates with that one, you don't get them with these, but it's more like racing. This is more like daily driving. But these come in at about like $700. So I was like, all right, these are roughly half the cost of the Fortune Autos. So this would be a really cool thing. So I was like, you know what? I, was, I texted Kevin, I was like, that's it, I'm just gonna pull the trigger. So I called Rally Sport and I said, yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get these. So. We have the Faction Fab F-Spec coilover. Um, Kevin will go through the specs with you guys because yeah. he's... Let's um, get them unboxed. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's look at them. So these are kind of new. They just came out, I think, last summer, if I remember correctly. Yeah, these are pretty much pretty brand much. new to the scene. Not many people are running them, and it's going to be really cool seeing how they do because we did select these. Um, you know, they, these are a budget option, so to speak. Yeah, um, so it's like coilovers, and um, you know they just offered way more than the average for this pricing. Yeah, for this you know, price in this was, price range, where you have you have Tane, you got Raceland, you got some other names that a lot of people bash, and you know Faction Fab for these guys, these are a well-known company. They have great products. We, you know, everybody, a lot of people trust what they do, and so we wanted to give them a shot and see what they do, what they got. So, oh, baby, those look good already. So, what is so special about the F-Specs? First off, the price. You know, like we said before, you know, this budget coilover market, you know, there's a lot that's out there already, and there's a lot that's pretty unreliable. We're talking about things that are coming without top hats, things that are coming without adjustability. Um, in terms of coilovers, what is on the market, you know, independent adjustment between ride height and, and preload, those are really common right now. You know, that that's not really special. But what's cool about these is that you're getting a lot of premium things that come with them, even though they're they're you know a budget option. Yeah. First off, if you guys notice, it's just the little things that pop out. So we do have an added plastic piece to reduce vibration on the perches. So you have one here, one there, one in the top. And in the top hat, you know, this is actually very uncommon. We have a radial bearing in the fronts. So that means that when you're turning your car and this is spinning, this entire this entire piece can spin freely while the top hat stays in place. So you can see that right there. So basically that means that you're not gonna have spring bind, you're gonna be reducing noise. Also for what's cool about these for a daily driver, we have this metal top hat which is gonna be placed right against the frame of the car so we're gonna have better handling, better response. But also this big rubber piece right here, this is for isolating sound coming from the pill vault in yeah, the top. So it should, so should have no road, you know. Very, very noise low and, noise. Yeah. yeah, compared to, mine are a little loud, but that's because it's pretty much bare metal. I do have that exposed top plate and the camera adjustment. Yeah. But for a daily driver, these offer just so many and I of think those it's a 32, awesome options. 32 way dampening, I believe. Yep, uh, so I, we have 32 way damping adjustment for the, uh, the shock on the inside. Uh, we got hardware for mounting. Um, we got a nice wide bolt here that's specifically designed for the Subaru camera bolt. So you can see one's wider and then one's thinner on the other side. So we got to make sure we pay attention to that. Um, yeah, we're excited. So the other specs on these is that we got um, definitely, it's a stronger, higher spring rate. 
than what we have stock. So we're going up from, um, I don't know what the stock spring rate is, but it's up to eight in the front, seven in the rears, yeah. which is similar to mine. I have 8K, 8K front and rear. Um, and Vaxfab also comes up with, they have a whole spec sheet about what exact measurement to dial in for what height. So you, you know, it's taking a lot of the guess out of there. So we're gonna be using that, a digital caliper to measure these. Um, also for preload too, they uh, set the, um, your wrenches are yep. the same thickness they, that they want you to set for the preload. They actually have a video on their YouTube on how to set that perfectly. We're not gonna try to tell you guys how to do that because their video is perfect and it gives you all the information you're gonna wanna need. So yeah. if you're looking for that, you can head over to their uh, their YouTube channel. Yep. And you can also look at our last video where we actually talk about all the best ways to install coilover. So the focus on this is the review of this product. We're not gonna be going into exactly you know how to install because there's so many videos in our video that's already up. So uh, let's get into uh, setting the preload uh, and then we're gonna be getting these on the car and showing you a little bit of that. We'll get back to you guys uh, with some voiceover and stuff once you know once we uh, once we have them on the car and we want to drive them around. So yeah, cool. Sweet. All right, guys, so got everything finished up. We got everything torqued down. We got the, the lower mount bolts, the two in the fronts on each side. Those are torqued, top hat torqued, wheel lug nuts torqued. We got the three LCA lower control arm bolts torqued up. Everything is good and safe. Ride height is looking pretty, pretty good. So we had, uh, we did a little bit, bit of a test. We had a couple of our friends, um, three of them actually sit in the back and originally we had it lowered a little more, but we decided to raise it up a tiny bit. Um, and of course these will settle over time. So um, after everything's said and done and they settle, it'll, it'll probably be about a one inch drop from stock. So that's good, but definitely less wheel gap than before. So looking great. We're gonna go for our first test drive, let everyone know what our impressions are, how they feel and everything like that. So yeah, first initial thoughts and we'll do a full like I want to at least drive these before I give you guys like a full fledged review because we just go around for five minutes. I can't tell you how it really feels. I also want to change right now. We have the dampening right in the middle. So I don't know if I got to go softer or stiffer. So I'm going to have to play around with that. So I'll probably drive for like so at least. out of that 32 adjustment, we're at 16. Yeah. Right so um, maybe like two weeks, three weeks, depending on, you know, when I feel like I finally got it honed in and I could really, you know, there's a couple little rides that I want to go on that are back roads that are really windy uphills, downhills. Um, just to kind of see how they, how they are for like, you know, spirited driving and, you know, these are basically daily driving coilover. So I really want to see, you know, get some driving underneath, you know, see how good they are. Give you guys a full fledged review, but we'll go give you a uh, initial thoughts. Wow. Initially all the bumps, you do not feel, feel that like jarring effect from the low sidewall, uh, of the tires. It soaks it up really well. I might go even slightly. Hi, Andrea. I might even go slightly softer. Yeah. Um, but. The first impressions here. First impressions, it soaked up. No, you go. You Do you mean it. softer as in lower? No, like, so there's a dampening, so we can make it really stiff, so when it hits a bump, oh, it goes, you can, or you can make it like, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I actually. That's what I meant, like lowering it more like spongy. Yeah, yeah, okay. would, yeah exactly, make right. it spongy. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. You're good. Yeah, you are. So, first impressions also. So, the, there's a big jump from the spring rate of the stock 
suspension system and these coilovers. Obviously, they're a lot stiffer. They're holding the car up much better. Um, the car feels more planted. Um, just overall stiffer, you know, and that does come with, you know, slight, a little more roughness in the ride, but I mean, these feel just about the same as my Fortune Autos, to be completely honest. And yeah. again, we could go even softer if we want. Um, what I'll probably do is now that we're at 16, I'll probably like tomorrow if I go for a drive, on the way there, I'll go all the way soft. And then on the way home, I'll go all the way stiff and kind of see what the feel difference is at like your three spectrums. And then I can, uh, you know, kind of dial it in. Yeah. But, but turning wise, fucking tight, man. <laughs> Dude, it's hugging the road. This is insane. The, the combo between those and the, the bigger wheels, man. And I mean, and guys, this is not like a. It's, they're not. This like is not a, a really set, smooth. You know? This is not a smooth road either. No, and, this and is totally bumpy. This is like an industrial. It's handling road. it it's fine. And and I bet it'll actually improve over time as you. Uh, oh yeah, I think it's as gonna, we get broken in a bit. Yeah, it's got to get broken. Let's see in. if we can hit this little pothole so here. Are these like yeah. stiff right now? These are kind they're of right in the middle. They're set right in the okay, middle. I can so tell. there's two different things. I can tell things. it feels different from before. Yeah. Yeah. So so the, there's two different parts. There's like the shock and then there's the actual spring itself, the coil. Okay. So the coil itself from stock is much, uh, these are stiffer, much yes. stiffer, which means it holds the car's body. Got it. And so those coils hold that the car's weight. That's what they do. Got it. Um, and then on the inside, there's a tube and so when you have, when you're changing the settings of the top little dial, you're changing how much the shock absorbs, yeah, different okay. vibrations and absorbs bumps. So we're set right in the middle. Hit every, I know. I'm trying to hit every pothole and crack it. Honestly, and okay, so, so again, my, the Fortune Autos, just compared to these first off, um, they feel about the same. Um, We'll have to see, you know, over time, if there's any kind of deterioration in the quality of these, because that is something that we have to worry about um, with a, a budget coilover. But honestly, first impressions, I don't really feel that much difference, and I, I might want to reconsider. Uh, the only thing that we didn't talk about yet is that these do not have camber plates in the front. Um, um, unless and, you get the FR spec. You yes. can go to the next, like, I guess gen up the next class up and you get the FR those have camera plates a little bit but, more racy but they also those also come with 11 and 10 yeah. uh, K springs so and those I mean, are still cheaper even those are still cheaper than the Fortune Auto those are only oh, like a, I think anywhere from like $200 more and then yeah. you get 700 and then it's like 850 so yeah 150 more We'll try to get some clips when we're on the highway and see if there's any dampening characteristics difference once we get up onto the highway and stuff. But um, yeah, I'm thoroughly I'm impressed. Those, I want to hit those railroad tracks again. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's that see if I can one, get that a. Was the uh, one, there's railroad tra old abandoned railroad tracks on my road. And sharp, sharp things in the road, sharp potholes yeah. and things like that. That's where you're really going to feel the difference between stock and. And just as soon as I went to the smaller sidewall, I could feel it. That it was kind of like. You know, you could just feel it. You know what I mean? Not really, yeah. like in your back, but you could just you felt it. Like you know, you know, the car was definitely yeah. feeling a little bit more. But uh, from the initial, just going right over them, leaving the driveway, it was like, what the hell? Crazy. Do you want to take the corner card? Yeah. It just stays flat, man. Holy. bumps at 60, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. it does. Good, okay. So, okay. at speed, I can definitely feel a slight difference. I can definitely feel a slight Just difference between these and the Fortunados at those kinds of speeds on these kinds of back roads. But again, the comparison is there. It's, it's pretty darn similar. I mean, it's just... Faction Fab, you guys did an amazing job for, for making for the product. price. Yeah, yeah, this is... This is insane for the price. And anybody out there that's gonna say, you know, these coilovers are, you know, oh, if you get Tane or something like that, you know, it's gonna be the same thing. I don't think so. No, because the Tane doesn't even come with the uh, top hats. Yeah. For, um, for we're gonna see, we're gonna go out for dinner later, so we might add in a quick clip here of us on the highway. 
um, and just to see if we can get anything, hear any kind of binding. First off, yeah, we have the windows up so we can hear everything. Yeah. There's no binding noises. It's um, just not loud. It feels nice and smooth. Yeah. And they haven't even really settled, so once they settle, so far, I'm loving it. I wish I can go with love with you though, but yeah, I carry people. I don't. I don't have many time. people in my car as often, so yeah, she low. Yeah, yeah. We did do she one test. Lower. We did one test, and it was just too low. Everyone sat in, anyway. and it was like right on the sidewall. I was like, oh, yeah, cool. Not on these Connecticut roads here. All right, so let's get that other clip in there, and uh, we'll get back to you guys in a second. All right, guys. Um, so before we end this video. I wanted to give just a little bit more than my initial review. Uh, so this is one week later of uh, us putting on the coilovers. WRX. Um, so I have, I rode it, oh, I drove it for three days and I did one in the middle, if the dampening, uh, one all the way soft and the one all the way stiff. So I can kind of get a good range of the dampening and see how much that changes, and it really does change, especially going from uh, stiff all the way to soft. If I was going on a long drive, I would definitely go all the way that way. Um, but for just daily driving, I'm probably gonna fine tune it and get it somewhere in between the middle um, and the stiffer side, because definitely you can feel, when you go all the way stiff, it feels very, very, very similar to Kevin's uh, coilover set. He's got the Fortune Autos. They've, um, I've probably gone down about another quarter of an inch lower because um, the springs are starting to uh, settle and everything. So now that that's settled, it rides so nicely. Now that I can like, I'm fine tuning it and every day I'm kind of going up one, down one, trying to find the perfect setting. But so far it's, it's absolutely perfect. If you're looking for a set of coilovers and you're just trying to daily drive and you just want to get rid of that wheel gap, uh, but you're not really fond on lowering springs, then this is definitely the set to go with. I think that they're, from price-wise, they're better than the BC coilovers and the ISC that give you the same thing for probably the same quality. These are cheaper. If you need the camber plates, you can go up to the FR spec, and it's still cheaper than all those other ones. The way that I'm building this car is I'm trying to keep it daily driving, because that's what I do. But I also, I want to find the best kind of bang for your buck for everything that I can find. There's, I don't want to go ahead and spend, you know, a super outrageous amount of money. And I also don't want to cheap out and buy the cheapest thing available and then it break. And then I have to buy something else and now I should have just bought something else because I spent twice the amount of money. So, these so far, Faction Fab, I'm absolutely in love with them. Um, fit and finish wise, you know, threads are perfect everything went on so easily their instruction booklet that they give you is fantastic they even give you a page that gives you um, roughly what the height would be you know what the height is stock and then what it is at max and, and uh, the minimum that you could go and it kind of gives you a really good range of what height you want and we even did the math and we were like all right if, if the max height is whatever and I want to go down two inches I'll just do that lower it and it, we got within very very close so shout out to rally sport for the quick shipping too because i ordered these on like a thursday and they came in on a monday um so that was fantastic but we're gonna go on the highway here in a second so before we end today's video i just wanted to give you guys a little bit more than just like an initial review uh so i've driven it for about a week now um i drove it on the softest setting drove it on the stiffest setting and then obviously i drove it in the middle um for like daily driving, I'm leaning towards more in the middle to the stiff. But if I was going on like a long drive, I would definitely put it all the way soft because it just soaks up everything. Man, it's, it doesn't obviously handle as well. Or it doesn't feel like it does, but um, even at the, the, like the super stiffest, it's still more comfortable than stock. Um, at the uh, stiffest, it feels very, very, very similar to Kevin's car. I can't really notice a difference. Um, in a way, this feels more aggressive, I think because I have the bigger tire setup though. So maybe when Kevin has the same tire setup, it might feel a little bit different, but for the Fortune Autos for twice the amount of money, if you're not gonna track your car, don't buy them. <laughs> don't buy any of these super expensive coilovers. You're just 
you know, blowing money than you could be spending on power mods and other stuff. Um, so far, these Faction Fab coilovers are fantastic. I would recommend these to everyone. If you're just daily driving, these are the ones to get. They're cheaper than the other ones that are like the daily driving ones that everyone's heard about, the ISC, the BC, um, all of those. And these just look and feel like they're just built better. Um, I went and looked at a used one year old of ISC and the same thing with BC ones. Um, so I'm trying to find a cheaper coilover because I just wanted to go down a little bit. I'm not going to track this thing as of now. I mean, maybe eventually I will. Um, but they just looked and he was like, these are just after a year and they just looked absolutely destroyed. Now granted, these might look destroyed after a year too. We won't know until we've had them. Um, but so far from build quality of putting them on, um, absolutely fantastic. So shout out to Fashion, Faction Fab for making a fantastic product. They also make brakes too. I was looking last night and I really wanted to get new, uh, new rotors because now you can see them. They're so exposed with my wheels. So I've been thinking about possibly doing that because again, even their brakes, they they have a whole brake kit, pads, rotors, and brake lines. Uh, for the front set and then a rear set and even those kits are priced you know fantastic um thank you guys for watching this one thank you rally sport for the quick shipping uh thank you factor fab for the amazing product they just built such a great product um please like and subscribe we have so much more coming uh kevin just spent like a crap ton of money for something for his car so that's going to be a fun little almost like a build series too for those so that's super fun um we may have another wrx coming on the channel you guys will probably hear more about this in the next video um we got car shows coming up once this virus is gone wicked big meat um if you guys i'll have i'll try to remind kevin put a poll up either here or here here um if you guys are in the area and you go to wicked big meat which is the I think it's the, if it's not just the US, it might be the world's biggest Subaru car show, uh, but it's in Connecticut, which is where we are. I've gone every year for the last four years, three or four years. Um, it's such a good time. If you guys are in this area or even not, and you wanna to drive to it, it's fantastic. There's autocross, there's a car show, there's stuff, for, there's tons of vendors, stuff for sale, free stuff. It's pretty fantastic. Um, so we're thinking about maybe doing like a car meet before and then a cruise up or like a cruise up and then a car meet right down the street from there i think there's like a we went there last year it's like a stop and shop or a big y it's like right down the street that we can all kind of meet there and then all like roll in together you guys can meet us say hi we can see your guys's cars um we've already had a couple people message us that want to like you know us to like film their cars or help them out with stuff and we absolutely love that so if you guys are in the area and want help working on your stuff or if you got a super cool build already that you want to you know kind of show it off you know um instagram uh dm us so thank you guys so much for watching and uh we'll see you guys in the next one